We're in Waterflow, New Mexico, which is northwestern New Mexico in the Four Corners region. We're basically kind of right where Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado meet. Yeah, so historically, this is sort of like the big brown cloud. And I think that um, when the astronauts were up on the moon, they could see the plume from the Four Corners power plant. And uh, it's a long legacy that goes back to the 60s. It's sort of interesting because this is an energy export zone. Um, this area, because they're, the coal plants and the coal mines are right next to each other, uh, there was this idea that coal-fired derived electricity was cheap. And I think that when it's all tallied up, all the externalities, including public health and including the detrimental aspects of the brown cloud and the haze, that it's been very expensive and it's really taken a toll. And so now we have an opportunity to rectify that. Our organization, San Juan Citizens Alliance and other um, organizations worked real hard over the past couple of years with the Energy Transition Act, where there's an opportunity to replace these retiring coal-fired power plants, such as the San Juan Generating Station, which is slated for retirement in 2022 with renewables. And so behind us, there's a, actually a proposal for a 372 megawatt solar facility. And we think it's a really pretty much an optimal location because of the fact of the proximity to substation and transmission lines. Some of the transmission lines um, go westward, some of them go south. Um, and there's a real premium with those stranded assets. And then the solar facilities would give us sort of the opportunity to replace the tax base and provide for the local schools. And it's, I think, a really important and transformative part of the transition. What we're looking at between the Energy Transition Act and the Shiprock Solar Project, which is proposed by a company called Photosol, we're looking at about 500 megawatts of, of solar. And we're also looking at kind of the advent of storage, battery storage. And we think that this area could be like a hub for energy storage. And so we're hoping that you're looking at ground zero for where this can go down.